How's it going, folks? We are here at the tractor dealer. Boys. Drink away. What do you, what kind of, are you 21? What were you drinking, Bonzo? What have I told you about this? This is an addiction. Boys, we have we need an intervention right now. What have I told you about this? Did you see him hide it? Come on. Dude, man. he hide he hid it just like an addict. Did. I'm not allowed to have pretty drinks. He shows over here like you didn't see anything. Anyways, folks, we are here at the nearest. Well, kind of nearest, not really nearest. We're at a dealership. It's kind of a it's a John Deere dealership. Not giving out any advertisement here. Just pretty much the only tractor place around here. But look at all the freaking tractors, boys. We need them. I feel like we need a tractor at this point. We need a tractor for the new homestead. My new house has a lot of things going on. A lot of tall grass, a lot of dirt that should be moved, maybe. I feel like we just need a new farm toy. It's been a minute since we've had a farm toy. So we're here, we've got, we do need, we actually do need one of these. Cause like right now we've been using the Argo. Right now we've been using the tank a little bit. And uh, well, we need a tank down at the farm for the for hunting. We need one of these, but I don't know if today's the day. Look at this, mi I feel like this is like a mini tractor. What, what size is this? 1025. Dude, that's a big, it's kind of like, but I feel like it's a bon, Bonzo, get out of the big tractor. This is a, tractor, no, this no. is a Bonzo size tractor. There's no smaller ones, I feel like, right? Look at you. I mean, I do fit it pretty well. Look, look at that. That's I a Bonzo tractor. Damage. Look at that kid stunting. Dude, we need some, hang on, let's do some IG photos. Purr like a tiger. Purr, purr like a tiger. Come on, Bonzo. How much horsepower? 20, uh, is this 20, I guess probably 25 means 25 horsepower. It's, it's either 25 or 10, I feel like 10. I feel like this will go faster than my car. This will go, the 10 pounder would go faster than this. Okay, so there's a 10, 25. So next one's probably like a 1040 or something. Or a four. Oh wait, no, hang on. We got four and five. Okay, so the four, the five is bigger than the four, which is bigger than the one. So the first number is the series. Guys, you can clearly tell I know a lot about tractors here. What is this one? What is this one? 3038E. That's about all I know. What's the E mean? Electric. No, it's not electric. Uh <laughs> easy maintenance. Uh That's what you need. That is what I need. That really is. Okay, this one has an E too. That one looks pretty cool. This one have an E? I'm just trying to figure out what I want here. This has an R. R means regular. racing. Regular. Racing. Regular or executive or extra. Like bougie. Where's the B one? We need a B one that says bougie on it. I'm just kidding. I, I honestly have no idea. I probably should go I inside. You, you guys tractor people at home are probably just, you're cringing right now. This is, okay, so this is a 2038R. So I'm taking it that the 2-0 is probably the size and then that's probably the horsepower. So that's probably 38 horsepower. That's probably the size. And the R means racing. We've decided that. Whether it is or isn't, it means racing. But I haven't really decided what, what do I need to do. Let's go through this, boys. Think about the homestead. Mowing. We need something like bush. Mow, mow the bush. We need something to move dirt. Snow plow. Move snow. Like grab trees and move trees. Grab like, trees. But yeah, I mean, like like if we were like cutting trees down, you'd want to use this to probably do something or help you put in some way. in a trailer or something. Is there anything else you guys can think of? We, we, aren't, we aren't planting corn. What else do you do for, with tractors? I, I'm serious. What else do you do with tractors? Is it, am I just, food plots. Food plots. Food yeah. plots. That it, small food plots. I, I might potentially do that out on the homestead. So I don't know what size you need for a small food plot. Again, I probably just need to go inside, but hope you guys are enjoying today's episode. Hopefully we buy a tractor today. Don't know what's going to happen. One issue with buying a tractor today is we are going to need Kai Dog, his truck and trailer, because my trailer does not have a fifth wheel thing and Kai Dog has like a big fifth wheel trailer and I, I don't. So we're going to have to use Kai Dog to come take the tractor if we do get one. And I don't know if he's available today. So we might not actually be able to get one today. I say we go inside. What? You see that? It says warning, do not do that. That is the first thing we are doing if we get a tractor. Yes! <laughs> You're jumping off into the pond, 100%. If I get a tractor today. No. Rick. I don't know what's in your pond. You could have like some. Neither do I, that's the point. We'll give you goggles. You can look, you can explore. You can be a water dragon for the day. Bonzo, do it for the views. Okay, maybe not today, maybe on a warmer day. It's not, maybe, it's not that warm. Maybe on a warmer day when the water's warm, I'll do it. If I buy a tractor today. You, I'll do it at a, some point. At some point in your life. At some point I'll do it in my life. We, now we have to get a tractor. I ha, I'm literally going to buy a tractor, even if it's the small one, just to get Bonzo to do it. Anyways, I think I'm going to go inside, figure out what I should do with my life here. If I end up getting one, I'll let you guys know. You guys stay tuned. A quarter of an inch here, yeah. It's no, it's where it comes up. Right. Take these pins out, drop her right down. Okay, so watch for me. All All right. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way! Oh my god, no goodness. way, dude. That was literally two centimeters. Well, got the tractor in the trailer. This should be interesting, folks. I'm not a tractor guy. Never really driven one. And now I have one. Inside the Ducks trailer. Did not plan on that fitting. We are good to go. Everything's ready to rock and roll. We're gonna shut the trailer and head to the house. You guys stay tuned.
what are the odds? That it's broken, this oh, tractor's good. gone, it caught on fire. I feel like, I don't know what this trailer's rated for, but this tractor's 3,000 pounds. Okay, there's still a tractor in there. Boom! Did it shift any? Did you, I don't know if you guys saw how close it was. It was like, I mean, it touched that. The part that I'm nervous about is the fact that I'm the one driving it now. Before it was, Alan was the beauty there at the John Deere place, and Alan hooked it up fat. Really do appreciate it if you're watching this, Alan. You're, you're a good dude. He hooked it up fat. I did not think it was possible. I thought we were gonna have to get Kai Dog straight. I even called Kai Dog to see when he could come and we were gonna go get it tomorrow, but now we got it tonight. And I did buy some attachments. Not gonna tell you what those attachments are quite yet. I got a bunch of attachments and we have to go pick them up tomorrow. So we gotta get this out and I might play around with it just cause it'll be fun. And then we need to put it away. And then tomorrow we're gonna head back to the dealership, pick up all the attachments tomorrow morning and then spend the day tomorrow playing with the tractor. So that being said, let's see if I can get this thing out. Here goes nothing. Did it break that thing or what? No, it just kind of rubbed the paint off, it's but scratch it's it. fine. I only one, one little minor mistake. John, I only broke it once. He put the bucket really? down instead of up. He's once. like, take it up, and oh. I'm like, just plow it straight he was down. Like, he's like, Austin, don't worry. I know how to run the bucket. What's funny is this, this tells you. If I read, there's there's an instruction sheet. So it's up goes down. Down, down, down. Dump, down. pick up. All right, is there any dirt for us to scoop up here, boys? I feel like we got to do something with it. Scoop up Bonzo. Bonzo, get in the bucket. Do not jump. Get in the bucket. Yes! Look at Bonzo! Should I dump you out? Not on gravel. Not on gravel. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. All right, Simon, jump in. You got this. See, you, you guys to... thought I would get a tractor and do farming things. No, 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 no. no. Hey, we're doing, you're we're doing flare not things. I feel like we can do like, dude. I'm like, telling you, you need jump. You need to jump. That was a lot yeah. smoother with him. Yeah. That's oh, all I'm gonna I'm say. I'm just getting used to it, Bonzo. <laughs> all right. Dude, I should have dumped y'all when you're up there. Oh, I feel like we can do some cool things. Go way up high, and I'll go to the edge of like the pond, and you can just like. That it's like a fun. diving board, dude. I feel like I'm gonna break this tractor very quickly. I feel like we're not supposed to, except this thing has like a, this thing can lift like 900 pounds. Like, so I mean, we're not even close to that. So I feel like we're not, we can't break it. That's why we got a big tractor. Yeah. It's not that fun when there's no like attachments. We do have a bucket though. What does one do with a bucket? Dude, you can charge your phone. Dude, you could rip on Snapchat all day long, Bonzo. He's definitely just gonna live on the tractor. He's gonna be sitting here just like, yep. By the way, I obviously know nothing about tractors. R is the bougie version. E is the economy version. I don't know what R stands for. I'm guessing E's economy. But the R basically like has cruise control and like you could do some other things. Like you put a mower below this. The first number is the series. So I got a three series. I got a three zero. I don't want to talk about this. I got a three zero thirty eight. It's a three series, thirty eight horsepower. It's the highest horsepower in this class. Is like the economy class, the cheap class. Basically the class that you should buy if you're like me and we'll probably break this tractor fairly soon. Anyways, with that being said, I think we should, um, let's go down to the shed because the shed is where we're doing all of, well, where we might have animals. A lot of maintenance needs to be done and we'll probably be doing that later in this video. But anyways, we're gonna go mess around. You guys stay tuned. This thing does not cut trees down. We need new attachments. I feel like you, you get you farmers or just human beings with a brain larger than mine, which isn't saying much. Probably cringing right now. You know what? We're trying to figure it out. I mean, it knocked the tree over. It ain't gonna cut it down. 
we need either a chainsaw or we need like a like a saw that goes on this thing like a something that can cut it off that's a thing we need to get one of those probably should have brought the attachments on they probably would have been a little bit more entertaining for you guys what else can we do let me let me uproot this tree this tree's pissed me off that little one i feel like if, the, if this tractor can't uproot that tree i feel like i just need to return this thing and go get a kubota Ooh, roll the clip oh! just kidding chill <laughs> What kind of damage did we do with this machinery? About 20 minutes and you got a little stick out of the ground. This thing's not this thing's not made for doing this. I mean, though. This isn't very sharp. It's not very sharp. Hey, we got it though. We did. did we not? We definitely need more attachments though. Thanks. This is for picking up dirt, not plowing trees. I just got excited, you know. You go buy a tractor and you just think you're the Hulk. It's green, you know what I mean? It's deceiving. False advertising on John Deere's part. Anyways, with that being said, I say we, we go get some more attachments tomorrow. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, it is the next day, and it's just Bonds, Daddy, and I. They wanted to sleep in. Yeah, they didn't want to. The hell, wake man! Up. But we're at a, another John Deere facility, and today, well, we're getting a few things. But at this location, we're getting a shredder, a rotary cutter to cut all the grass around my house, and uh, and then we have to go buy. Well, we have to go pick up two more things, which you guys will see a little bit later. Boom! We got the shredder loaded up. We're ready to rock and roll. First addition, first piece of equipment is done. We still have two more to pick up at a completely different location across town. You guys stay tuned. Like off the ground, I'm not worried about, but like, yeah. like the angle of this. You got it. No, no, I don't have it, Austin. I don't. Last thing you needed to do is break it on the first day. Second day is acceptable. First day is not. I mean, I can try backing it up, but I, I just it. don't know if I'm gonna. If you go slow, or you'll be fine. Give me just to give it a shot. Yeah. A lot more work than I expected. Shout out to Cat Dog the Farmer. If we didn't, dude, it would have taken. It would have been 17 yeah, YouTube videos yeah, in maybe two and a half weeks before this thing would potentially be attached. So we're getting there. We're getting close. Yeah, just keep it idle here. Put the shredder down before you start it up. Yeah. You probably don't want to be in the tall grass and start it up. You never, you never want to start it when people are like standing right around there because PPO shaft is really dangerous. So. Yeah, because you can put it buried. I know, is this the cutest thing ever? Take a picture. Well, did you see I almost hit a piece of rebar? But I spotted it. It was like a little piece of metal. Kyle pulled it out and it was like a fencing stake, it looked like or some electric fence. Mm -hmm. Holy shred, let's go look at the grass. Honestly, for never running something like that before, it, you did really sweet. It I'm cut grass. Before. Look at this. You can see. You can actually see now. Millie. Yeah. Millie, what do you think about the shredded grass? Go through and mow it. And just mow it like normal, right? You you like the tank? Are you a fan of the tank? Huh? Well, first attachment, well kinda, the bucket I guess was the first one. Second attachment, check. Learned how to shred. Got a lot more learning to do, but we have two more accessories we need to go pick up today. And we'll play with those today too. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, well, we made it back to the dealership here where I, we still have two more attachments that we need to pick up and I probably need to order a couple more, you guys. I'm trying to get all the, all the toys, all the gadgets, all the gizmos, and we got two more that we're here to pick up. Boom! We got a blade. Boom! Brush crusher. So we need to crush, oh, 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 no. Is it, can you, oh! Oh, look, the claws. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were a beefcake, but no. 
Oh, you're, yeah. you're, you're huge, dude. Ladies, you're watching? This is your man right here. Anyways, we got Brush Crusher. I figure we can do some... This is, like, what I'm most excited. Like, I actually just thought of an idea. What if we took this and the tractor to, to the farm and crushed the old Flare B&B? Oh, that'd be interesting. Do you think it would work? That'd be interesting. See, these are the things. This is why I bought a tractor, folks. These are the things. Comment down below what we should do with the tractor. These are... You see, you see where my head's at? It's not with planting corn. It's not with making food plots. It's not with mowing. This is where my head's at right now. Crushing the Flare b, &B with the Rush Crusher. Let me know what you guys think. Also, this thing. This is to move. You can kind of grade gravel. I mainly got it to uh, push snow. So obviously when it snows, you can kind of go up and down the driveway a little bit and just move dirt, flatten stuff out. I don't know. It looked cool. We gotta try to load this thing and this thing in the old trailer. Take it back home. We're gonna hook them up, test them out, see if we, what we can crush and see what we can blade. You guys stay tuned. You guys got it? Jesus! Yeah. Okay, stop. It's gonna crush my hands, dude. That was a bad idea. Yeah, just walk in here. Ah! Oh, my God. Brush crusher and blades in. We just, uh, we got died. I think my hand got cut, my knee got cut. Yeah, you, have gr you have grease on your shirt that looks like something other than grease. Now I see why farmers are so strong. It's not that I'm not made for this, I'm not ready. I think it's time to start hitting the gym, boys. We gotta get swole for the, that farm life, you know what I mean? We're shutting this up. Can't wait to unload this at the house again. You gotta stay tuned. All right, so I'm driving through a random town right now and just had a subscriber. He's on a moped though. I'm gonna pull over and see if he'll let me drive his moped. Oh, please follow. Oh, he is, he's following. Dude, we have to. We have to drive his moped. I've never driven, I've driven the bro pad, but this is an actual moped. What's up? What's up? How's it going? I think it's pretty sick. Thanks. Can I drive it? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name? Owen. Owen? Nice to meet you, Owen. All right, I don't wanna break this thing, okay? Uh, I don't think you could put it through any rougher than what it Okay. Be honest. So, all right, I'll just get on it. All right. So, no, what's the strat now? Break, start. Yep. selling this thing or what uh, I'm thinking about it I need a car so I'll probably end up thinking how much about do you it. want did you, did you buy this or did you, like your parents get it or what yeah. you how tell much? me what do you have bucks how much how much 150 oh I give you no I give you way more than that you kidding me I don't know you tell me I'm fine with whatever <laughs> no dude I can't do that they're like stealing it I can't take it Nah, dude have you seen it 500 bucks sure <laughs> all right I'll meet you at your house I have a checkbook all right Hey guys, welcome back. He's so nice. I felt like I asked, that's why I asked if, if he's selling it. If he doesn't want to give it to me or sell it to me, I don't want him to sell it to me. But it, he said he's trying to get rid of it and save up for a car. And I asked him how much he said, 150 bucks. I'm like, dude, there's, I don't, even if it's worth 150, like I feel so bad. Like this is how this kid gets around. He's not a car. So I've, I've never met this kid, but I'm going to go to his house. I told him I give him $500. I'm going to write him a check, 500 bucks. I feel like that's fair. I know nothing. I mean, this thing could literally just like fall apart, but honestly, if I paid 500 bucks and like got a couple good rips out of it, like we got to be friends with this guy. He's a nice kid, but I'm, we're headed to his house now. We got the trailer and everything, dude. We just strap it down. Oh, what do you think Bonto is going to say, oh dude? My God. We're going we're gonna to go. We went to the tractor store and we we're coming back with a freaking <laughs> moped that rips, dude. Oh God, this is about to be funny. All right, I got the checks. Do you guys care if I buy this from him? That's his deal. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm like stepping on anyone's toes. No. no. I think we're okay. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, I didn't expect to buy you. a moped, but so if you ever want to drive it again, just let me know. If you ever want to come to the farm and drive it, you can come down whenever you want. All right. Bonzo's going to be so mad he missed that. That was a dope moment, dude. I, feel, I mean, I kind of feel bad. The kid doesn't have any transportation anymore. He, so he's 14 names Owen. He's a beast. He sold me his moped. I would not have bought it unless he told me he was interested in selling it because he's saving up for a car. Like, I feel, again, I feel bad taking it. It sounded like he was fine getting rid of it in order to get a car. So anyways, we're headed back. Macy doesn't know about this. 
But do you know what you should do? You should just drop it, like pull in the drive way up top by like the tractor, right? Mm -hmm. And drop right. it and it'll just come ripping down the drive on and get the oh, reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you should go talk to Bonzo and be like, oh okay. yeah, like Andrew's on, on the phone, on like, yeah. a meeting. Okay. And then like Slam and I will like drop it and like we'll get it out and start up and like just come barreling down the driveway and like you get Bonzo, get, like, be right next to him. Oh, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. We're headed back. <laughs> Nothing, dude. You guys are up to something. What are you talking about? What are you guys up Nothing, to? Nothing, dude. Dude, what? No, you two are. What the? What do you mean, dude? Go take your groceries in, Bonzo. Oh, Bonzo's here. We have technical difficulties, John. I don't know. John's been pretty Is suspicious. That defense, we had this super sick video until I couldn't figure out how to get this thing to work. What do you mean? Okay, so you, hang on. So you know we went to the store for tractor supplies. Yeah. Okay. Just so happens. We're ripping through one of the small towns in between okay. here and there. Okay. See a subscriber, and he just so happened to be uh, driving something, and I yeah. bought and I bought it from him on the spot. Oh my goodness! What do you think sit there? Uh, he was driving it. I'm not gonna. Get and I and I said, can I ride this? And he let me ride it. And I said, how much do you want for it? And I bought it from him. I went to his house, met his parents, and he wrote them a check. A mini ATV. All right, we're gonna see what it is. It's oh. a moped. Oh my gosh. I can't no get way. it to start. No way you just bought a moped. Well, I bought it off some 14 year old I was ripping around town. No dude, way. It, when he started for me, I ripped. Dude, it gets up to like 40. You fly. Why, why can't you start it? It won't. I watched him start. I can't get it. So I need to contact him somehow. Are you mean? like in neutral and everything? All right, let's take it off. Let's take it off. Maybe Bonzo's like oh, kind of a mechanic. Good, Bro, we got a moped now. So I had it. I saw him. He held the brake okay. and he pushed the start button and he kind of and he gave us some data. It doesn't do anything. Oh, no, now it's dead. It was, it was dying. Oh, okay. Let's just jump it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing this is red, right? Look at this. It's, the blinkers are working. Oh. We gotta okay. turn on the Argo. Yeah, so turn on the Argo, right? Just had to jump start it with the other toy. Bonzo is in heaven right now. Oh, oh, he might crash. Well, this was supposed to be a tractor video, but hey, you get a little bit of this too. We still need to put all the stuff on the tractor and test it out today. We are still gonna do that. Bonzo's gonna pick up so many girls in this. Look at this thing. Goodness. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be a proper video if no one crashed. I uh, yeah. slammed on the brakes too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the somersault at the end you did, yeah. and like your landing was the funniest part. Hey, listen, I'm just glad you didn't land on it, like under. Oh it. no, I'm it, it, basically I slammed on the brakes, slid on the gravel, it slid out from under me, and I kind of just like, I and I somersaulted. Well, <laughs> it's not gonna be the last time. Many more to come. Like some sandwich. Oh, oh she's seen worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the back of your shirt. You oh dude, on gravel. I hurt a little. Oh no, rocks feel great to the back. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Stay tuned to the next episode to see if I broke the moped. Ugh. All right, let's see if I can pick it up. Good. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey! Can't feel right there. Pick it up! Can you press harder? <laughs> Well, hey, I picked that up. We need to cut some trees down, so we need. We need some trees. I mean, there's some fence. I could rip some fence out. We don't have chainsaws at the farm. We need to get it. I do need to cut some trees around this place. There's a lot of trees I don't want. We need, that's why mainly where I grapple it. I mean, it's a brush grappler. Are you doing pull-ups right now? Are you really flexing that hard right now? You want me to do a pull-up or a push-up? 
or a pull up or a, what's the other one? Chin up. Chin up. <laughs> what a big, oh, oh my God. If you're watching at home, kid, your auntie, she's in danger right now. You better, better hide her. All right, I decided since we grabbed the barrel, this thing is called a, what's it called, a brush grappler? Brush crusher. It's time to crush him. Brush. <laughs> That. That's nice. Consider your brush crushed. Well, there you have it, folks. That is going to be the end of today's farm video. Literally, I'm on a tractor farming. You guys need to name this thing. You also need to name the moped that I crashed on that's probably broken now. We'll try to fix that. But, anyways, name those two things um, and also comment some ideas. What could we do on the property in general? with the tractor, without the tractor, with all the toys, come some ideas. Like I had the idea earlier to take this grapple and crush the Flare B&B. Don't know if it has enough force, but we're definitely gonna try it. So comment some other ideas you guys have below. But anyways, I did buy the blade, you guys saw that. Um, I figured there's not really a whole point to hook up the blade because then I gotta unhook the brush mower, which I have to use the brush mower this weekend to mow down the brush that's all around here. And the blade's really good for snow, which obviously isn't gonna happen any soon. And then it's good for like moving loose dirt or gravel, which I don't have really either one. I have gravel, but no gravel that needs to be moved. So Kai Dog did all the work, put this thing together correctly. I'm not gonna touch it unless until I get all this brush stuff mowed around the whole property. After that, I can show you guys the blade. The blade's not really all that cool. I got it for mainly just winter purposes. But like I said, come down below. What do you guys think we should do with this thing next? Any ideas? I'm all for it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the farm videos at the house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.